one of the definitions of team, which is a group of individuals with complementing skills that's required to complete a task or goal. So we kind of look at that as kind of how we've set this up and seeing who are the individuals, which organizations we partner with that have complementing skills um, to really complete that task and goal of deep, you know, equitable access to all these kids. I think a tangible goal that I know we want to see is that kids have access to playing the game, right? More and more kids are participating and getting engaged in baseball and softball effort. It's going to be an important step to not only focus on our kids, but also to look at how we can empower coaches and really use that and use the EO1 model as a resource point to develop our coaching staff and make sure that we continue to have the representation so that those kids who are our target market, they also see themselves in this game. This RBI Regional Tournament is the platform that allows these kids to take their game to that next level and to compete at high levels. The true core of what EO1 is and who we are is collaboration. Right? And so we wanted to unite the baseball softball communities for years. Um, and again, to partner with the Mariners to do that with, with their brand, their history, um, and this excitement around the team. And the, I mean, everyone's come together. We saw that the, the market was extremely fragmented. Um, the costs were through the roof. Um, we believe that there is a more efficient and a better way to do it. We saw um, lots of volunteers that are well-intended and great people that lack resources, um, bandwidth uh, to execute in their communities. And so we decided to build something um, in service of that. So we actually offer uh, many back office services programs to really support organizations from the Little League level all the way through uh, training facilities. And so partnering with the Mariners and having five training centers is just the beginning. Um, we're actually providing access through our mobile program as well. I believe we have almost 90 events scheduled throughout that five state region uh, to bring baseball and the Mariners to these communities that might not have access to make it to one of these facilities. We want to bring everyone inside metaphorically and just from a standpoint of being, making sure that everyone has access and opportunities to come and be a part of the, the training centers. Our commitment to Baseball Beyond Borders is to work with them from the beginning. You know, we want them to be a part of what we're doing and that's why they're here right now. Uh, so we can do this from the start. There's no misconceptions, there's no misunderstandings. We walk through this and we're aligned not just as EL1, but the Mariners training paddock centers, uh, the Mariners, and then with Baseball Beyond Borders. So this is the first step uh, in the right direction that allows inclusivity in our practice to be able to really build upon our baseball and softball model than Baseball Beyond Borders and ensure that communities are centered and that they have the direct access to be able to create a sense of belonging. I think it's important that they now have a power of place that they can go be who they want to become. And this partnership, this collaboration, this team effort that I think EO1, Seattle Mariners, and Baseball Beyond Borders is moving towards is going to be a catalyst to help really increase baseball and softball access here in our region.